Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Progen PR4, which was released with the Casino Host DLC. Now, as you can see, this is a motherfucking F1 vehicle. Uh, it looks like it's a bit of an upgrade from the R88, whereas this actually looks like a full-blown um, F1 vehicle. And the R88 looks like it's kind of like a, uh, a junior version of it. So this 100% looks like a legit F1 um, racing car and it just looks so cool man so without any further ado let's crack on with this build with 100% body armor as always the body works so we can remove vents mark 2 so it smooths off all the sides uh, the lightened mark 2 body so then it removes trim at the rear yeah the trim is intact uh, on the stock version of it too so that's pretty cool the lightened mark 2 I like the look of that uh, then you've got the mark 3 which just gives you an open vent on the top and then the lightened version of that the Mark IV takes away more trim at the rear and then the vented one gives you a massive vent in the side and I actually really like the vented Mark IV so I'm going to go with that then we're going to move on to the brakes we're going to get the super brakes front we've got the lowered wing um, not sure about that I think the stock version actually looks better uh, but anyway we've got the lowered wing the medium then we've got the circuit attack, the championship wing, the maximum grip, and the legendary. Wow, the legendary. We're going to have to get that just because of the title. Legendary wing. It's got to be done. Then we've got the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. We didn't get an option to change the exhaust on the other um, F1 vehicle, so this is pretty cool. Not really sure where the exhausts are, though. Oh, look, you can just about see them in there. Um, so that's pretty pointless I want to say because you don't even really see what's going on we'll get a turbo exhaust anyway why the hell not then we've got the liveries so we've got the Jakey's Lager the Sprunk so I think the liveries really obviously suit these vehicles because obviously they're, they're F1 cars and that's what the, what the whole deal is they're plastered in sponsorship so these are pretty much made <laughs> to suit liveries with sponsors on them um, so, so that team progen think actually looks really good I like the look of that um, not really blown away by many of them the redwood looks good as well um, the redwood is the one I had on the R88 that would look really awesome and it looks good on this car too and yeah so I think out of all of them I think the redwood and this team progen one were probably the best two uh, so I'm going to go with the team program and then we get an option for respray I don't think I'm going to respray it though because it's white and I think with the body colour being white it goes nicely with the red black and gold livery so I'm going to leave the respray alone then we've got the spoiler loads of options for spoilers man and they're all pretty similar to each other except for they get bigger then smaller then you get little cut offs uh, this that, and the other that extreme wing axle looks really nice how it's sort of like cut and molded around the back wheel that looks awesome the extreme wing I thought I'm going to go extreme wing why the hell not transmission we're going to get the super transmission then we're going to get the turbo tuning for the wheels uh, like we saw in the R88 you can change the wheels but I didn't unlock them and I still haven't unlocked them um, so we have a quick look for them They're nothing spectacular obviously the tyres and the actual shape of the wheels will stay the same size because of the type of vehicle that it is and I'm assuming these are going to be you know unique to the open wheel uh, category which is the new F1 vehicles but like I said these are locked for me so I'm going to have to stay stock for the wheels and unlike the R88 we get a window option which is strange because I can't see any win oh no there it is there's a tiny little windshield just at the front. I wonder if that's what's going to change. And it is. Um, we're going to go with Dark Smoke. There we go. So here we go. All done. Customization finito. So the same as the R88. There isn't much customization. But there's enough for me to be happy. It just looks awesome, man. <laughs> it looks so cool to have this type of vehicle in the game. It sounds immense as well. I wonder if it's actually going to be quicker than the um, R88, but it does actually feel a little bit quicker, and it looks like a fully blown um, 
F1 vehicle, like I said, the last one, the Ocelot one, looks kind of like a junior version of it. Um, but it, to be honest, I, I can't really tell a major difference in the speed. They both seem pretty similar in, in you know in the, the speed. They both sound the same. Um, the handling feels really good in the corners. The braking is awesome. The acceleration is really good. I mean, it's what you expect from an F1 vehicle. I mean, it is what it is. It's supposed to be a track day, 200 mile an hour car. And I think Rockstar have pulled it off to bring in a new vehicle with new categories, like the open wheel category that it's in, it's, and pull it off. You know, however old this game is now, it's six years old, this game, or maybe even older than that now. Uh, but to have a game this old with you know, set, set categories that we've had since day one, like the Super, the Sports, the uh, Compacts, this, that and the other. And for them to bring in two brand new vehicles in a brand new category and nail it, the way it sounds, the way it handles, is awesome. It's just so good, such good work from Rockstar. And I'm really happy with the way this, this looks, it is awesome. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but it is going to cost $3.5 million. So it is very expensive. But I think it's worth every single penny because you get supercars in the game which are around that price and they're the same as every other fucking supercar in this game um, but to pay 3.5 million and have a completely unique vehicle something that's completely different to everything else in the game I think it's definitely worth it so I highly recommend this vehicle if you have the money go and buy it as soon as it's released uh, you won't be disappointed. I think it is awesome. And um, I'm really happy that Rockstar has released it. So on that bombshell, I feel I'm going to end the video right there. hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.